So I can look at um, look at street map. I can cache some imagery. I can load in my satellite imagery that I've that I've um, modified myself and yeah. I've post -pro uh, pre processed to get into yeah. format to use here. So there's imagery for L'Aquila um, pre event, post event. Yeah. We've got our building footprints, perhaps we've got our sampling strategy has told us which ones to go to. Yeah. Now we simply can hit the tick button and it will start to bring up the taxon taxonomic information. You're going through the German taxonomy tables basically. This, that, that's precisely Gradually, right, but yeah. in, in an order that is going to be of use to, to the end user. Yeah. Um, and doing it in multiple directions as well. Yeah. So if people have horizontal irregularity, you can put in the primary and secondary direction, longitudinal yeah. transverse. Yeah. All right, when you get on to um, the age and the height of the buildings, what we, what we can actually do is give you a number of options. So if the age is unknown, or if you've only got certain brackets that you know the age of the year built is, you can say that it was between certain dates. So that will activate two boxes. Yes. So you can say, well, it's between 1990 and 2005. Yes. Um, perhaps you've got a precise date, or you can even just say, well, it's approximately yeah. um, 1943. Yeah. So all of this is stored in a relational database at the back end. That is the same database for this tool or for that tool, and it's the same that's used in, uh, in the consequences database yeah. and the exposure database. Yeah.